Oklahoma's best country, K-Law 101, Jerry and Seth, the morning crew, and we have a very special guest on the phone with us. Now, last Thursday, you all know that on Thursday, we do our very special catch of the day. That is indie or unsigned artists, and we found one last Thursday who actually, she found us, and she introduced herself to me online, and her name is Nikki Breyer, and uh, she is a very unique country singer. You don't find a lot of country music coming out of New Jersey. I think uh, only two artists have ever come out of New Jersey and had a number one hit on the country charts, uh, not counting John Bon Jovi's work with Jennifer Nettles. That doesn't count. I'm talking uh, in that regards to Eddie Rabbit and Clint Black. Uh, but normally when you think of music coming out of New Jersey, you think of John Bon Jovi and, and the boys, or you think about Bruce Springsteen. You don't think about country music, but uh, Nikki Breyer is out to change that. Welcome to the show, Nikki. How are you? Good. It's good to hear from you. Now, the first question, of course, oh, we have to we have to ask you. Too. Well, you know, we got a great response. And I told you before we even uh, before we started recording some of the great responses we got. But we had a lot of people ask us coming from New Jersey. How did you get into country music? Uh, you know, that's always my favorite question. <laughs> <laughs> well, my father was a touring drummer. So growing up, I was surrounded by music because of him. He did Motown, jazz, and growing up in New Jersey, he was really good friends with Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons. Okay. So if they needed a fill-in drummer, he would actually go on tour and drum with them. My mother, on the other hand, was a classical piano player. So I literally grew up with everything. And it was just like music was just music in our household. But, of course, I had to be the different one. And when I was about like 12, 13 years old, I started playing guitar. And one of the first songs that I learned on guitar was If Tomorrow Never Comes by Garth Brooks. Okay, that's a great place to and start. It's, it's an amazing song, and he's incredible. And I just, you know, it was just one of those songs that I just liked. And, it, and again, I just didn't put it together that it was country music. So I started listening to Shania Twain and Leanne Rimes, and again, it's just music to me. And kind of fast forward to a couple of years while I was in college and dating my husband, we were doing a couple of like military benefits and stuff because he's in the army. And I was singing the national anthem um, because I was always a singer, no specific genre at that time. So one of the military events we were doing in New Jersey, a soldier came up to me and said, hey, you know, you, you have a, a really unique way of singing the anthem. You have like a little bit of a country sound, a little twang when you do it. And I said, wow, that's a really interesting input. So my husband at the time now was my fiance, and he got deployed to Iraq. To keep myself busy, I was songwriting, and it everything just kept coming out as country music. And so I decided, you know what, let me take that soldier up on his offer and you know, let's see what this is about. So I, I ended up taking that trip to Nashville, and that was about eight years ago. Um, and I put my first EP out called A Soldier's Princess. Once that song, it actually had gotten played on a local, like, national radio station eight years ago. And I said, you know what? I, I guess this is it. This is my calling. You know, you mentioned the twang. I heard the twang the first time I listened to your single. Now, the single's called After the New Wears Off. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, that's the newest, um, the one that uh, I'm really excited about. So that one, it was uh, it was written with uh, two really talented songwriters as well, Casey Carpenter and Josh Johnson in Asheville. And that song, we you know, we were coming up with a really cool modern country kind of hook. You know, we were talking back and forth about ideas and I said, you know, well, after the new wears off, what could we relate that to? We could relate that to relationships and cars and, you know, the excitement that you have when you first get something brand new and shiny and all that excitement in time tends to wear off. That, that, so that initial that flutter, that heart flutter that you get. Yeah. That's the best feeling. Like, oh, how yeah. do you keep it alive? Like, what happens after that? So that's kind of like where where we went with the with the song, and it's gotten a really great response. Well, so. it's a great tune. Why don't we give yeah. it a listen now? <laughs> this is the latest from Nikki Breyer. It's called After the New Wears Off. It was our unsigned indie artist Thursday catch of the day last week, and here it is for you on Oklahoma's Best Country, K-Law 101. You know I love that new love smell. Driving around all day like it's 
show and tell Taking all the curves a little too slow Saying bye a hundred times every night on the phone I know I gotta put some miles on this heart But tell me right now, baby, Country, Kayla 101. That was your last Thursday's Unsigned Indie Artist Thursday Catch of the Day. Dinky Briar, after the new wears off. Love the tune. And I have had some people who normally don't comment on our Catch of the Days who have told me they love that song. They have absolutely fallen oh, in love with the song. I'm so happy. So we're, we're thank hoping you. for good things I, I for you, you for, for so that much. one. <laughs> now, is that going to be on a, a, a new album here coming out for, for you pretty soon? So yeah, so that was um that was actually my fourth like radio, you know, uh single that we were pushing. So we have um uh we're going to add that to a next album. You know, you always try to test the waters and everything before you put like a whole album together. Right. So my last full album that had 10 songs on it was called Dancing in the Headlights. So, like I said, you always test the waters before you put together another full album. So now that great response is we've got more material. And we'll be back in Nashville at the end of September, and we're working on the next album. So we'll have about, you know, another nine or ten songs to put together. And the next single off of that that we're going to be releasing is called I Know Where I'm Going Now. I'm doing a little, you know, some things that are a little bit out of my Jersey comfort zone. Right. I used to be such a country rocker, which I love. And I always relate myself to like Gretchen Wilson style because I idolize her a lot. And I've had the honor of performing with her and, and meeting her. And she's amazing. So I've kind of been dabbling in some other genres because there's so many genres of country music. So, you know, I know where I'm going now is a little bit folky country pop. So okay. it's a really interesting song. It's an interesting mix. So is there is there one song that you got right now, something that you're, you could play for Absolutely. us? Absolutely, yeah. Well, one of my favorite songs that we do um, off of my Dancing in the Headlights album, uh, this was written by my good friend in Nashville, Mike Hall, because it's about growing up in a small town. And I grew up in a small town in New Jersey. And it's about having big dreams and that, you know, no matter what obstacles come through your life or obligations that you have to fulfill, that you just stay focused on your dream 
and it just has like a really nice meaning to it. So uh, this one is called Hometown News. And a high school ring The one in the dance on Broadway The one in the be in the next John Elway The one in the head that highway And leave this little town I'm tired of just being a hometown news Never coming Oklahoma's best country. It's our previous Thursday's unsigned indie artist catch of the day, Nikki Breyer and Hometown News. So, you know, yeah. I'm absolutely <laughs> blown away. I, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, country music coming out of New Jersey. And uh, you have blown me away. You really have. And we're looking forward to great things to come from you. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to come to your neck of the woods, too. We we're would planning a trip to Oklahoma. Let us know. We'll put the coffee on for you, you know. Yay! <laughs> now, what, now uh, what, what have you got coming up here in the near future? I, I, we, we just had a baby, so we, uh, we're we just getting back on the road and everything. It, yeah. and, and you know what? And I found out I was pregnant when we were in Nashville. It was really special to be working on my last single after the new wears off. 
and and be in the studio. And even though I was feeling a little sick, but to learn that I was pregnant with our first son, it made it even more special. And then when we did the music video about four months after that, you know, just to know that he was there for the whole experience right. um, is really a special memory that we'll be able to share with him. We're, we're just traveling all over, and we're going to make our way to Oklahoma. Well, we wish you all <laughs> the luck, especially with, with the young and in tow. We know that that's, that's two full-time jobs you got going, and definitely oh, yeah. we wish you oh, luck yes. with, with the touring, <laughs> and we're looking forward to getting you out here to Oklahoma. I would love that, and I want to thank your fans uh, for, for listening and enjoying it, and I want to thank you so much for the feature and for giving me uh, an opportunity to share my music with you guys. Well, it's great music, and we were more than happy to share Look forward to sharing more to come. This has been Nikki Breyer. She was our unsigned indie Thursday artist catch of the day. We thank you for joining us, Nikki. Thank you so much.